Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3, uh, where today I don't really have much of a plan, but there's a few things I want to show you. So since last episode, I've added another magmatic generator to the system, which isn't really doing a lot right now. It's kind of just sitting here while the other two are running, because we're not actually using that much power. We're only taking enough power from these two. And the lava is still able to keep up, well, the fact that this isn't running means that that's not too tricky. And I've just been moving the system through uh, to make a whole load uh, more sand in the hopes that I get one more redstone. Uh, also, I have automated storage of ore pieces slash chunks from an automatic sieve. Uh, we have all our ore pieces going into here. I just grabbed uh, one of the three remaining transfer nodes from last episode, hooked it up to a chest, and everything's going in here. Which means we can probably take all the stuff from up here. Um, and stick it down there since it might as well all be in one place. And there's a few things that are still up here. I'll work on fixing it all up later. Um, but today I want to go to the nether and I want to make a cow in a jar. Now those are two completely different things, uh, but we should be able to get both done today. And I also want to... Uh, show you one of our new chickens. So, I am going to grab a bucket of milk while we're over there. Uh, I decided to breed the chickens a little bit more and I have gotten hold of an iron chicken. Here it is, just in the wall here. So let's pick it up with our animal net. And if we throw this down in the nest every few minutes, I think it's every 10 minutes, we should get ourselves an iron ingot. Now, we should also get some eggs uh, some iron chicken eggs so then we can spawn more breed them together and then just have a whole load of nesting pens filled with them and hopefully then get a whole load of uh, iron from our chickens though it's not looking like we're going to need uh, much more iron at this point since we're getting quite a lot uh, let's throw this away in here and clear the weather uh, the other thing I want to do is the portal so I'm going to stick the portal uh, over near the aggressive mobs actually I think so let's actually grab some cobblestone and build it out around here like that and light it boom drink some carrot juice and go through Okay, I've just come through, and for some reason, this was not what I was expecting. Um, I was not aware that in Sky Factory you get a proper skyblock um, nether. So, let's build this out. And I'm not actually entirely sure what the use of being here is, but if we go to our book, maybe it will give us a reason. So, travel to the nether. Is there anything in the nether? Travel to the bottom of the nether using a boat. Okay, I'm going to try that. Uh, and anything else? Diamond chest transporter, killer wither, blaze spawners. Where on earth would they be? Okay, it looks like we have to somehow get flight. Um, so there is the flying ring, but does that not need the angel ring? Yeah, that will need a ghast and a drop of evil, which comes from wither skeletons. I don't know how we'd get those. Um... We might be able to use the um, RF Tools flight module eventually, but I'm not sure that's worth it. Uh, are there any wings? It's glider. Okay, let, let's go grab a boat. Uh, I do have... In fact, actually, it's probably beneficial to have a crafting bench here. Boom, boat. Okay, so I do have uh, keep inventory on, I believe. So, we are going to the bottom of the nether in a boat. Okay. I don't think that's what's meant to happen. Um, what would be the point? I mean, I did travel to the bottom of the nether using a boat. But I, I don't think that's how it's meant to go. Okay, now all that appears to have done is create a death waypoint. Um, 
I was kind of expecting to gain something from that. Uh, but no. Okay then. That is very weird. Okay, so it just seems to be a kind of silly achievement based around the fact that when your grave is down at the bottom you can land on it. Uh, I'm not sure how to d go about doing these um, other two achievements, the blade spawners and wither. The only thing I could think of is maybe flying through the nether. Once you go so many blocks I think you do eventually reach the nether. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, also, what's the beneath dimension? The beneath? Is there beneath? Beneath teleporter, that'll take quadruple compressed cobblestone and unstable enderpearls, which are enderpearls and wither dust, which come from wither skeleton skulls. Okay. Okay then. And that'll take us to the beneath, so that's something we can't really do yet. Um, but I want to make. Uh, our cow in a jar. So to do that we are going to need a jar, which is why I was going to get a bucket of milk. I don't know why I never got one in the end. Uh, let's go grab that. Lucky we have three cows, so we won't be losing any of them. Cow juice, there we go. And then milk and seven glass should get us milk jar. And then if we can just stick this underneath a cow. Okay, how are we going to go about doing that? If we stick that there and push the cow. Okay, they're up there. And just hope he doesn't move. And if we get a couple blocks. Stick up uh, an anvil. So let's go craft an anvil. There we go. I believe this should squash the cow into the jar. Boom! Cow in a jar. And can we pick it up? Yeah, cow in a jar. Sweet. So we now have our very own cow in a jar. Uh, and that will produce milk over time for us. Uh, it just sits there. It currently has... 20, 30, 40 milk, 50 milk, and every time it has a thousand milk, we can bucket it up uh, instead of going over to the cows. I don't get the point in that because you get milk constantly from the cows as far as I'm aware. Okay, let me uh, just stop this system, throw in some cobblestone, and this always has a reserve of a stack left over, so we're not using up all of the... Um, Stuff evidently. Somehow we haven't got a single redstone from all that. There was over. Oh, yeah, it's not dust. Okay, uh, let's make sure to turn it into dust this time round. Okay, so we can also throw our anvil down there. Uh, cow in a jar is almost halfway to a bucket of milk. Let's throw iron ore in there. We can get a block. So we've been to the nether. We've created a cow in a jar. So let's go take that one off. Captured a cow in a jar. Uh, killing mobs automatically we'll probably do later uh, once we've managed to figure out the withers in the nether. A diamond seed would be handy. How many diamonds do we have at the minute? Four! Okay, so we do have enough diamonds for a diamond seed. I just need to make a whole bunch of supremium as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we're one to medium off of a tier three and there's this is a tier 5. Okay, so diamond seeds will take a while. Um, what can we do with crops at the minute? So, uh, craft a solium dagger to obtain a mob chunk. That's for the mob specific plants. Uh, use growth accelerators or crystals to speed up crop growth. So, let's look up growth. We have growth accelerators, growth that uh, grows resource crops above it. That's a diamond, inferium blocks, and stone which means a whole bunch more in Ethereum, and growth crystal? Was it? Growth crystals. Mm. Oh, these. Okay. From Tiny Progressions. These take four iron, a uh, bunch of prismarine, and a bunch of compressed bone. And what exactly do they do? Can we place as a water source? Oops. 
and growth crystal though it can also be used as just a growth crystal under blocks okay so if you place it under dirt it probably speeds up growth I'm not entirely sure um, one thing I do know is that we want to expand this farm so we do have a bunch of bones and we can also shift a ton so I'm going to bucket up this I'm going to throw some saplings in here for dirt. In fact, we might as well make a few bits of dirt. Okay, there we go. Do we have more saplings in here? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, and we'll leave that going. Let's throw these in here. So I am going to make a whole bunch of dirt. I'm going to grow trees, uh, shear off the leaves, and get a bunch of dirt. And then uh, we'll have a much bigger field for our crop essences, for our inferium. So I'll grow a whole bunch more of that, and we'll see what to do. We might not have much more left to do this episode, actually. Okay, so it looks like the iron chicken actually does drop iron ingots. Um, I think I got some. I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, clean out some of this stuff here. I don't need logs or cocoa beans or all this flint because I'll get a whole bunch more. That's enough, I guess. I think I can pick up everything now. Yep. So this um, iron chicken... Uh, has got us two iron chicken eggs. I'm going to grow the stronger one in the hatchery nest. And I am going to need a whole bunch more nesting pens. Now I think stronger chickens probably are more likely to give and probably also give more of the resources that they uh, can provide. For example, the um, iron chicken will probably give more iron if it's a stronger iron chicken. That just makes sense. Um, but we will see. At the moment, they're 323, three, the new egg. The original one's probably 111 one, one because it was just born from other chickens, but the stats might depend upon the parents. I don't know. So I've just been expanding this platform over here, uh, growing a whole bunch of trees, trying to see if I can get this platform expanded. It takes quite a while to get dirt this way, so I actually want to see, uh, aside from a dirt chicken, how else can we get dirt? Is it only from composting? Now I know there's a staff you can get in Britannia that makes dirt, and apparently there's a dirt crop which comes from tier 1 crafting seeds, inferium, and dirt, but I don't think that's really worth it. It does get you 24 dirt. That is so worth it. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's that is actually really worth it. Okay. Um Okay, let's let's make that dirt crop. So we'll grab a couple more prosperity shards. Uh forget the diamond crop for now. We can make always make that later, I'm sure. Uh can we turn these back into their original essence? Yes, one of them into four. Okay, let's do that. It does unfortunately kind of waste the uses of the infusion crystal, but that shouldn't be a problem. So it's one seed. And I still haven't made those die chickens actually, uh, so I'll have to get those. Uh, one level one seed four essence and four dirt boom dirt seeds will plant this down right here and then I'll use my watering can and grow that and once we have eight we should have a whole bunch of dirt oh and also we'll get some iron essence and some inferior essence too so that's handy Okay, so I've just been harvesting dirt essence, so I've managed to get six, and 
20 inferior essence apparently, I don't know if some of that I already had, but the, uh, I managed to get this fertilized essence which apparently has a 1% drop chance. I don't know, is it used for anything? Mystical fertilizer instantly grows a resource crop. Um, and fertilized essence is bone meal that works on resource crops, but there's no way to grow it at all? No. Okay, let's look up mystical agriculture. Is there like a crop that uh, let's see, Constantin Quartz Yellow could be kind of cool. Rabbit is an odd one. Uh, skeleton Slime, she doesn't look like you're meant to really get it that much. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, it just kind of grows it halfway and it doesn't do a lot. Okay, but that's kind of cool, like a 1% drop chance. Maybe if you've got a full-on farm going, you can get a whole bunch pretty quickly. Uh, that's seven. Just one more now, and I do have enough iron essence to craft two sets of iron. How many ingots do you get again? I can't remember. No, I don't have that much. I have enough for one. Almost enough for two. And one short. There we go. Okay, dirt essence. Come on. Come on. There we go. Boom. We should have enough here for the six iron, though. Yep, we do. And if we now... Grab the dirt essence, go around, 24 dirt, much faster than if I was to chop trees all day. And we can fill this in. I mean, that would have taken forever otherwise. And we can start branching out once more. Let's chop all this down. And now I have a, uh, enough room to start planting a load more Inferium. In fact... What does it take to craft Inferium Seeds again? Can't quite remember. Inferium Seeds... Su Supreme Inferium Seeds. Will those grow into Supremium? Okay, let, let's see this. Can we make Prudentium? Let, let's see if we can grow Prudentium. Um, there's our Inferium. So to make these seeds, just eight prudentium, okay. So that makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, that's nine. Whoops, okay. Uh, put those around what type of seed? Inferior inferium seeds. Okay, let's make those first. Uh, in fact, you might as well just break one of these for now. Because if this does grow into Prudentium, you can undo it back into Inferium if we ever need it. So Prudent Inferium Seeds, you can throw that down there. I'm going to grow this and I'll be back when it is fully grown. And we'll see if we can then work on uh, reaching all the way up to Supremium Seeds so then we can actually get Diamond Crops far faster than farming Inferium, which is ridiculous. Okay, so it has fully grown. And did we just get two Inferium? Okay, so you don't actually get Prudentium, you get half of a Prudentium, um, I think. So, it's much better to have the Prudentium ones still, because rather than getting half, you're getting a quarter, usually. So this is almost fully grown, let's make sure I get this right. So there's one, and from the Inferium one, the Tier 2 one, we get... Come on. Okay, let's, let's keep an eye here. We have 46. 48! Okay, so it does look like we get two. So, if we use all the essence we currently have along with all the seeds we can get... So those ten seeds, we turn into... how does it work again? The whole way around? Six of these inferior inferium seeds, and then to upgrade these we need Prudentium, right? So if I get... if I grow all these and get enough for some, Pruden uh, some Prudentium, we should be able to make a field of level 2 crops, and then with a field of level 2 crops we should quite easily be able to reach level 3 crops, and so on and so forth. Um, which would mean we'd be able to get those diamond crops far sooner than I was expecting. 
Okay, so it's kind of stupid for me to make those seeds, um, rather than just pick up the ones that we already had, but we should now be able to make seven prudentium to go with the one that we already have, add that to one of these seeds and make another level two seed. Uh, we'll replace this one, and then the rest of them will start planting. So we might as well actually move these over here. So let's go grab our hoe. Okay, so I've moved the crops over here to the back of the field, and then we'll bring oops, wheat and carrots and potatoes further along into this gap here behind the sugar cane, and then we'll have uh, a whole bunch more food crops. Uh, and then we can expand this field on and on and on, uh, adding more and more Inferium until we can get uh, a whole load of Supremium and stuff, start working on armor, furnaces, etc, etc. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode um, of Sky Factory 3. That'll be it for today. Didn't really have a whole bunch of ideas of what I was going to do, but I'm happy enough with what we've got done. We've got the Nether Portal, we've got upgraded crops a little bit, and we have our cow in a jar which honestly looks amazing, especially since it basically drowns itself, and yet you can still see the head. Um, I kind of want to grab a screenshot of that, Oops. even though it uh, won't really work on the thumbnail, unless I kind of stick it to the side, and then you'll be able to see the anvil too. How about that? Could you... That? You have a thumbnail. There we go. Not, not the best thumbnail. It would probably be better if I dug out the floor and snuck down there or something, but it's fine. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of Sky Factory 3. If you have, don't forget to leave a like. It's something that, have, that you would maybe like to see some more. Uh, next episode, I'll try and follow along the quest book. Maybe I will look up online how exactly the nether works in this, and then we can uh, get the withers and blazes, and uh, get some blaze powder, get some wither skulls, work towards nether stars and stuff like that, get an upgraded watering can, uh, get flight, etc, etc, and get into the more mid-game stuff now that we have all the basics out the way. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all again next time for some more Sky Factory 3. Bye-bye!